Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Homebrew Review. Uh, today's homebrew, like most of the homebrews from the brothers, has no uh, ABV on it. Uh, it says, enjoy after December 1st, 2013, or breaking the rules, because today is December 1st, 2013. Uh, it's been bottled for almost a month, so I don't see, and it was brewed in October, so there's no reason why it shouldn't be uh, good by now. Anyway, this is the Brother Brow, and it's in a Flying Monkeys Smash Bomb Atomic IPA bottle, which again worries me because these labels should have just fallen off if they were sanitized in the cleaner I normally use, but who knows what they they sanitize with. But uh, this is Brother Brow's Oatmeal Stout. So Brother Brow Oatmeal Stout. Uh, let's see what it's like, shall we? I love me an oatmeal stout. Uh, you can't really see it, but I'm in my F and M Stonehammer uh, oatmeal stout shirt to commemorate drinking this oatmeal stout. I actually uh, I'm excited. I'm trying to pick up my opener here. It's stuck on my counter. It's not sticky stuck, but uh, at the angle it was at, I couldn't get my fingers under it. Okay, let's open her up. That bottle cap over there. Got our Molson M glass out because, as I said on my solo reviews, I'm going to be showcasing a different glass for every day I do solo reviews. Anyway, let's pour until I run out of glasses, which will happen eventually. Okay, it didn't make all that much head, but I didn't pour it very aggressively. Very, very dark. Uh, it's not black, it's a uh, dark, dark brown. Um, mahogany brown. Uh, yeah, mahogany. I was going to possibly say walnut, but it's uh, not light enough for walnut. Uh, nice, nice head. Uh, the camera's not picking it up as dark as I'm seeing it, but the head is a... Uh, Almost like a chocolate milk head color. Uh, well, not, uh, let's, let's say, uh... <sighs> you ever get cappuccino from the machines, like the specialty machines that pour it right for you? That's what it looks like. It's that m milky, uh, milky coffee color. So, cafe lait, latte. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's a brown a light brown smell. How many different colors can I tell you? How many? I like the head still there though. The head retention on this is beautiful. I wish it had gone... well, actually, you know what? That makes me happy that I didn't get a better head when I poured it. Because I don't think it would have went away. That's a, ooh, that's a nice viscosity. That sticks. I didn't even look at it because there was so little head, but that sticks. That sticks. Mm, not much on the scent department. A little bit of roastiness, uh, slight touch of coffee, and that's about it. Just roasty sweetness and coffee. But I'm okay with that. Cheerio. That's good. It's roasty. It's sweet. It's heavy. It's mouth filling like it should be. Uh, it has a. St it leaves you with sticky lips. Um, Taste not as full as an oatmeal stout should be, but still a beautiful oatmeal stout nonetheless. Uh, this actually does beat out some oatmeal stouts out on the market. Um, Trafalgar smoked oatmeal stout, for instance. And before anybody goes, oh my god, but it's Trafalgar. It's not. It's actually a beer I don't actually mind from them. Uh, but this beats that out. This, uh... There, there's oatmeal stouts that come out from a lot of the smaller, newer breweries that this is actually on par with. Uh, I don't know if this was a full kit. I don't know if this was a partial grain. 
Uh, I don't know what they added to it because uh, he, well, he's not here anymore, so I can't even ask him. And, and uh, Sensodyne there doesn't talk to us much. Um, I, I think if I remember what he told me correctly, they actually roasted their own oats in it. Um, you do get an oaty taste, and I'm hoping that's from him roasting his own nuts. Bec that just sounds funny. Because uh, if it's if it's you know, but if he didn't put his own oats in it, then I have to give him that this brewer's best kit is probably the best brewer's best kit out there because it tastes exactly like it should. And I, again, I don't know exactly what adjuncts he added to it, but it does taste the part. It's just not as f filling as it should be. It's not as complex, but it's just what it should be. It's like a step two oatmeal stout. It's not an entry level oatmeal stout. Which, it's hard to say at entry level oatmeal stout, but it, it, it's, it's not, it's not a Vache Follet oatmeal stout, it's not a St. Ambrose oatmeal stout, it's not a, uh, it's not an F&M oatmeal stout, except the, well, this is an oatmeal coffee stout, which is really the big difference between the two of them, because this doesn't have very big coffee flavoring. I was going to say, this could actually stand up to the F and M one, but the F and M one is better. Uh, just a beautiful sweet roastiness. The roastiness continues so after the sweetness fades. The roastiness continues to give you your slight refreshing bitterness on the background. Again, heavy mouth feel. Um, medium, medium bodied beer. It should be a heavy bodied beer for an oatmeal. Well, medium to heavy bodied beer. Um, it's good. A tiny, tiny touch of dark roast bitterness on the very background after after, after everything else is gone. Uh, you know what, Devin? I would buy this. I would buy a six pack of this and drink it in a night. I would buy a six pack of this and probably drink it in an hour because I'm an 300 pound Irishman. Uh, well, Irish Canadian. Well, Canadian. My dad is Irish, okay? Let's get it straight. My dad came from the island. I didn't. I know. I'm a first generation Canadian before I fucking get all the fucking bitchy ass hate. Yeah, Devin, this puts uh, my very first oatmeal stout to shame. Uh, my first oatmeal stout way too heavy, way too roasted. Uh, this puts my first one to shame. Kudos to you and your brother. Uh, it's no root toot stoot, but it does beat out my first attempt at it, and this was your first attempt at it, so I give you kudos for that. Uh, each different style, the first time you do it, I consider it your first time brewing again, because you're playing with a new style. Uh, and you did this one splendidly. I would easily give this a uh, 775. I would almost go out of my way to buy it, but there are too many oatmeal stouts that I could find that are better than this th to give it an, than to give it an 8. Uh, but it is a buyable beer. It is a drinkable beer. It is a product that is worthwhile and a product that is worth seeking to try. Um, so you guys did great on this. What's your... What's your record at now? Do you remember? I think it's, uh, I think I've done six of your beers now, I believe. And I have one more in the fridge. And I think your three, I would buy them again. One, I wouldn't buy again, but I'd drink with, with pleasure. And, uh, two, I would drink, but wouldn't buy again and might complain about drinking so you're actually on these five beers you're you're in the plus you are doing great i think the only two beers you made that i wasn't a full fan of was the alt beer and uh and the smoked porter thank you guys thank you Devin. thank you uh jared bye bye